Hey yo, what's good? What's good, my YouTube people? Hey, it's your boy back with another video. Go and hit that subscribe and that like button, man, and hit that hit that notification bell where you won't miss no videos when I post. Hey, I just wanted to come back, man, and, and do a part two on that LeBron versus Jordan comparison. The dumbest comparison ever. The dumbest comparison ever. Uh, I just want to kind of pick it back. You need to go and watch. If you haven't watched part one, go watch part one because you'll kind of see the end where I was telling a story about Michael Jordan to show you why the comparison is really dumb because Jordan just had a different, he, he was different, man. He was in a, a league by himself, a, a, on a planet by himself. All of your celebrities talk about this. All of your Hall of Fame uh, basketball players talk about this. This is not some I'm just making up. But why? another reason why it's a dumb comparison, man, um, like I said, they, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back a little bit into the first video. They're not even the same type players. Again, to my young people, this is nothing to take nothing from LeBron. All I'm saying is when you compare him to Mike, they were two different animals on two different levels. And I know it's good for the league. It's good for the NBA. I, I know the business side of it. So I like to share that information too because a lot of people don't look at the business aspect of it. They look at it only as a fan, and you can't look at it like that. The NBA needs another Michael Jordan. They needed it. LeBron is the one that they chose, and what they call him, the chosen one, to try to force being a Michael Jordan, but it's not LeBron. LeBron, when, when, listen, when we watch Michael Jordan, we watch Michael Jordan knowing he was going to do something we never seen before. Something so spectacular to it was going to blow our mind. Now, keep in mind, I watched Jordan whole career. Watch LeBron whole career. When I watch LeBron, I don't get that. I don't get that. I watch a player, a good player. We're not, we're not taking that away from LeBron again. Understand the difference. All I'm doing is pointing out some specific key reasons why it's a dumb comparison. When I watch LeBron play, I watch a player. You know, he going he gonna to give you 28, 8, 7, you know, 6 or whatever. Maybe give you 30 or maybe give you 25, you know. And that's what you're going to get. You're going to get a solid stat sheet. Nothing is wrong with that. Nothing is wrong with that. But when we watch Michael Jordan, we didn't watch Michael Jordan for that. We watch Michael Jordan because Jordan at any moment can give you 60. 60 with five different highlights in one game that... That's going to blow your mind, whether it's a posterized on a seven footer shot block center, uh, which they don't even have no more nowadays. So we can't even watch it for that. Uh, but John was going to poster. He might was going to posterize somebody or he was going to he was going to do some 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 moves that we never seen before in our life. And you can pull the highlights up. We never seen these moves before. You know, where there was a bat was shot. He was going to flick it bat was he was going to do something was so crazy, that's what we watch Michael Jordan. We don't watch LeBron for that because LeBron can't do that stuff. And not only LeBron, these a lot of these players, they can't do that stuff, so we don't really watch the NBA for that anymore. If we do watch it, we just watch it because of the sport. But it's it's no it's, it's, it's just not that anymore. But Michael Jordan was just in a planet by himself that even when they played Boston Celtics, this was only his second year in the league. Second year in the league, this guy put up 63 points. 63 points against one of the top teams in NBA history. Four Hall of Famers was on that team. This was only his second year in the league. He put up 63 points. That proves his dominance. And not only did he put up the 63 points, it stands to this day as a record, not only in the playoffs, but in the Boston Garden. So all of this stuff is timeless stuff. We can't say that about LeBron, man. It's too many mem memorable highlights for Michael Jordan. That's what I'm saying. Like, even Jordan wasn't, even C Kobe wasn't an all-fair comparison, but it was a, a comparison that made sense. 
You see, this one don't even make sense because they don't even have the same nothing. Nothing is the same. Like I said, a pretty good comparison to LeBron James. Like even Scottie Pippen said that to himself. He said that would be to him, Scottie Pippen, or to, you know, like I said, Magic Johnson. But Michael Jordan was just a different animal. You know, Michael Jordan. And then, you know, you get those people that, you know, like I said, a lot of youngsters, they talk about, well, you know, LeBron had to beat. He, you know, because we live in a, let me, like I said again, we live in a ring era. A, a ring, well, rings make you the best. But even then, <laughs> Joy still beat him in that. Joe still six and zero oh in that. So that alone, like I'm not even understanding. I was watching Shannon Sharp, and Shannon, Sh Shannon Sharp told Skip. He said, "Well, Skip, if he win this one, if, if the if the if the if the season continues and he win this, he'll have four. Case closed. We won't be there." And I'm like, that makes no sense. That I know the I know those guys paid to they get paid to make the debate seem real i understand that part but to say if he win this one this you know case closed he's to go because this will give him his fourth title with like eight losses to a man that's six and oh that's insane to even say but, but if you the media you can actually convince people to believe that that makes sense <laughs> If, even if you do win this title, you'll be like four and eight. But this guy's six and zero, oh, and that can make sense to anybody. That now, keep in mind, I will say this again: I don't grade Jordan greatness by rings. So I'm only saying that because of I hear what I heard Shannon Shop say, and I know some people can't think on their own. So I want to bring that to your attention. That makes no sense. Even if LeBron win two more titles, just say he'll be five and what? Five and eight. That's horrible. You're not even 50%. So I'm just trying to point these things out. Even if we were talking about rings, you still lose big time. Big time. It's not even close in that department. So I'm just showing you the, the reason why the comparison makes no sense. But I understand it. I get it. Because... If you're in your 20s or even late, early 30s, you're not going to understand that because you ain't going to break it down like how I'm breaking it down. You're just going to look at that you're a LeBron James fan. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not trying to get you to not be a LeBron James fan. I'm just trying to get you to look at why the NBA is doing what they're doing with this dumb comparison. They need another Michael Jordan. With Michael Jordan, listen, if what I'm saying is false, why are they still comparing people to Michael Jordan? If Michael Jordan wasn't when when as great as we say he were, which oh, you can look at the highlights. We ain't got to tell you that. Stephen Warner can see that. Uh, and not only that, look at the stat line. We don't even have to talk about that. Nobody put up more 50, 40-point games than Michael Jordan other, uh, other than Wilt Chamberlain. Nobody. And even he, he holds the highest career. Keep in mind, this man averaged over a little over 30 points his entire career. That's nuts. And I don't 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 tell me he played against plumbers. Cause like I said in my last video, Iverson was plumbers. Paul Pierce, they were plumbers. Tim Duncan. And then you still had the Carl Malone, Stockton, David Robinson. All these guys was, was plumbers. Kobe Bryant, Kevin Garnett, they were plumbers. All these guys was plumbers. And keep in mind, he came back with the Wizards. 38 years old. For to bring another point of why this comparison is dumb. He came back with the Wizards. 38 years old. Most points. Oldest guy to average 20, 20 plus points. He set a record for that. Michael Jordan we're talking about. Oldest guy to score 40 points. He set a record at, with that. Michael Jordan we're talking about. Oldest guy to score 50 points. He set a record with that. Michael Jordan with the Wizards we talking about. This guy was still setting records against your prime players. <laughs> so, I'm not taking nothing away from LeBron. I'm just saying, compare him to somebody where it looks better, where it matches up. 
That's all I'm saying. But comparing him to Jordan is it, just it's foolish. It's, it, it don't make sense. If I led the league in steals, because a lot of people say, well, okay, LeBron James, that wasn't his game. He, he wasn't a scorer. Okay, well, all right. Well, I, I, we're going to leave scoring alone. Let's leave scoring alone for a minute. Okay, that wasn't his game. He wasn't a scorer, right? Okay, well, why he passed Jordan on the all-time scoring list? So, we got to talk about scoring, right? <laughs> so, you say he wasn't a scorer, but he didn't pass Jordan on the all-time scoring list. But when I mentioned Jordan out of those 15 seasons, had 10 scoring titles, and LeBron out of 18 only got one, y'all said that ain't his game. I'm just pointing factors out. I'm not taking that away from LeBron. This is what y'all be saying. <laughs> y'all said it wasn't his game. So if it wasn't his game, how do you pass Michael Jordan on the all-time scoring list? But I would tell you this. It don't take a rocket science to figure out that if you play way more games than me, then of course you're going to eventually pass me. See, that's all they show you. Remember I told you they show you totals, total numbers. They'll show you, okay, Michael Jordan has, this is just an example, Michael Jordan has 20,000 points and LeBron James has 22,000. He's better. And y'all, y'all don't can't thank me all self. And I'm going to let y'all slide if y'all in y'all 20s because I um, But y'all say, oh yeah, he better. He a better scorer. But then, how you a better scorer when it took you 9,000 more games to get those two? That's not a better scorer. That's not a better player. It don't take a rocket science to figure out you're going to eventually pass me with more games. What 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 comes into factors when they don't point out the dominance of that because if if they point out well keep in mind Michael Jordan had ten scoring titles in fifteen seasons for his twenty thousand points, LeBron James only has one through eighteen season for his twenty two thousand. Then which one going to look like the most dominant? Of course, ten ten scoring titles over one. Well, that's scoring. I just want to show y'all. Then when they show y'all the rebounding. They, and LeBron James might edge him in a two rebounds for their career. Like, that's huge. That's not huge. I'm going to point those factors out. And they said, well, he got more rebounds, number one. Like I said, again, here we go again. Don't take a rocket science to figure out. If you play more seasons than me, you're going to get more rebounds than me. Let's keep that in mind. Okay. All right. That's one factor. Second factor is you're 6'9", 250. He's 6'6", 250. 20, 215 he played at his career. It don't take a rocket scientist to figure out you supposed to get more rebounds than me. See what I'm saying? I'm breaking it down how they're not going to do it because they have to make the comparison look like it's really a, a real legitimate comparison, but it's now, not. That's the second thing. The third thing is they're not going to point out the fact that LeBron is playing in an era where all your big men is living, pretty much living on the perimeter. So, if that the case with all your big men is on the perimeter now, you supposed to get this just sweet science. You supposed to get more rebounds to me when I play in an era. I'm speaking as I'm Jordan. If I'm Jordan, I played in an era where it was dominant big centers and dominant power forwards whose job was to get the rebound. See what I'm saying? So you're going to grab another rebounder two more than me. That's just one plus one. That's not you a better rebounder. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about the assists. I'm just breaking these things down. I couldn't even do it in the first video because I didn't have enough time. Let's break these things down. Assists, let's go to the assists. Okay, you average another uh, two assists more than me. But let's break this down. You bring the ball up the court. You have the ball in your hands 90% of the time. You are the distributor. It don't take a rocket scientist to figure out you're supposed to have more assists. <laughs> so they don't break these things down to y'all because they want y'all to, 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 to look like the debate was really a debate when it's really not. Everybody knew uh, John Stockton and Magic Johnson would get more assists than Michael Jordan. Everybody knew that. They was point guards, always had the ball. Their job was to distribute the ball. That's why they had the ball in their hand 90% of the time. Same thing with LeBron James. But they don't point these things out because they want the debate to look like it's a real debate. That's not a real debate. 
That's a foolish debate. Okay, I just hit y'all with the assist. I broke that down. Let's break down defense. Ron James can he can defend one through five. He can take your point guard. He can defend your two and your three and your four and your five. He can do all that. Well, let's point out that it's no longer a three and a and a, a, a four and a five. Everybody is anything. I I can me. I'm six two. I can go out there and guard a seven footer that's going to shoot threes. <laughs> see you, you you see what I'm saying? They don't break these things down. Can I can guard Shaquille O'Neal out there that's dribbling and shooting threes? You telling me I can't? You tell me I cannot myself. I can't guard Shaquille O'Neal who's shooting on the perimeter sh shooting threes. If he was shooting threes, I know I can because his size don't matter anymore. <laughs> He's my size now. Your size only matter when you take those big guys and put them on the block. So LeBron James get Craig for being able to guard people that's uh, that's pretty much a six foot now. You, you see what I'm saying? Because if they're shooting threes, they're, they're, they're four and five don't even matter anymore. And they run a pick and roll. Now everything is pick and roll, which get the big man from underneath the goal. It's not even a big man anymore in the game. So you don't get no edge by saying he can get. But I know y'all will automate because I hear y'all repeat these things to me because y'all don't know basketball. I played, man, listen, I played basketball. And I also coached basketball. And I won titles doing both. I know basketball. I lived it. I ate. I sleep basketball. You don't, you don't get it. I don't do it no more because it's a show now. It's a reality show. But I did this coming up, man. I, I used to wake up. They would have to beg me to come in there and eat breakfast because I would have a ball literally in my hand ready to go out and shoot basketball. So I know basketball, bro. Y'all can't feed me garbage. Like, like this sounds good. And this sounds good for 20 some years olds and I, in the early 30s. I, I, I give y'all a pass because I, I know y'all don't know. Y'all just go along with what the, the uh, commentators and stuff say. Now, as far as that game, man, put them in the post. LeBron James do not have a real post game. Let's be honest, man. Michael Jordan defined the game of every aspect of the game. We talking about defense. Uh, Jordan three times steals, champ. LeBron James never done that. He never laid the league in, in, in steals. So, I, and like I said again, I am not taking away from LeBron James. Let's get that. Let's not get this twisted. I'm just showing you why he shouldn't be compared to Jordan. That's a different. That's difference. Let's understand the difference. Or why it's a dumb comparison. If I got, if I led the league in steals three times, you never lead the league in steals. How can they compare me and you? It's no comparison. You can't. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You can't. It's no comparison. You, uh, I'm a better defender. It's just obvious. What John was a nine-time first defensive team specialist, like. LeBron James probably two times, three times. Like he, he, that ain't even close. I'm trying to help him out. Um, John will lead, lead. He was always one, two, or three, top five in steals every year. He won steal champs three times, but he was up there in the top two, top three, top five every year. Then he got my, when Michael Jordan retired. Keep this in mind. When Michael Jordan retired for good. He was leading the league. He was the NBA all-time steals leader. So a lot of people don't even know this. Those other guys had to keep playing to pass him. Which, again, don't take a rocket scientist to figure out. If you keep playing and I stop, you're going to eventually pass me. That's why they made Michael Jordan get away from the game. Understand that. They made Michael Jordan get away from the game. Michael Jordan did not want to lead the game, but they had to make him lead the game because we wouldn't have these conversations because all the records would be so far to know. Kobe Bryant didn't take Michael. Kobe Bryant had to. He had to play five more years to to top Michael Jordan. And LeBron had to play pretty much. He had a two, three years. He had a three year start on Michael Jordan. <laughs> See what I'm saying? See, they did this stuff. Because they knew Jordan was so good that they had to give players some type of upper hand to catch him. To to make the debate seem good. But 
those things still don't make Michael Jordan the GOAT. What make Michael Jordan the GOAT is what he did with a ball in his hand. I can't stress that enough. The stuff that these people debate over, it overshadows Michael Jordan credibility. I'm I be sitting back shocked because nobody pull up highlights of both and say he can't even do this stuff. He ain't never did this stuff. Pull the highlights up. You can't send me a highlight reel, mm -hmm. James, that will that I can't send you to make of uh, Michael Jordan make heels look foolish. You can't, you can't do, I know you can't because I have watched them both their whole career. That alone is what I can't understand why the, compa the comparison is not there, bro. It's just not there. It's not there. When they say Michael Jordan couldn't pass and get his, that's why he wasn't winning no titles. He couldn't pass and get his teammates involved. What he did, the first title he won. He averaged more assists than Magic Johnson. That finals. He averaged more assists than Magic Johnson in that finals. If it wasn't more, it was it was it was right there at it. It was it was it was right there. And Jordan was they was they was discrediting him for his passing. So he proved right then that I can do anything to win when you say I can't. Dude averaged almost triple double that uh that finals. They don't even talk about that. <laughs> See what I'm saying? See, they only try to throw. Like I told you, man, they throw totals in y'all face to 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 dumb y'all down, man. I hate to do a part two. I, I'm gonna give y'all a look another quick story. 1998, it was my birthday. We went we we went to Atlanta. That's when they were playing in the Georgia Dome to see Michael Jordan because we knew it was probably their last dance. Y'all need to watch that. We knew it was probably Michael Jordan's last dance. So everybody, man, we seen nothing but Birmingham, Alabama tags. I'm talking about it was so many countless tags heading to Georgia just to see Michael Jordan. Just to see Michael Jordan. When we get there, we get there a little bit late. But, man, it was something I never seen. Pull up the game. March 27, 1998, Georgia Dome, Bulls versus the Hawks. Largest crowd in any NBA game in Pull the history. Game up. Pull the game up. Watch me go baseline and do that reverse of Matumbo, who was an all-time shot blocking leader who thought he had the block. Everybody thought he had that block. This dude, this dude was something. You don't, you can't, man, please, please, please. Pull that game up, the largest crowd in any NBA history. When the guy was shooting free throws, we were there. When the guy was shooting free throws, it was so many cameras was flashing, you couldn't even hardly see him shoot the free throw. We in person. We ain't watching on TV. We there. <laughs> the comparison is dumb, man. Comparison, the comparison is dumb, but the NBA needs another Michael Jordan, so they're trying to force it. I'm out, man. Like, subscribe. I'm out.